We've got our national championship matchup. It'll be on Monday, January 11th in Glendale, Arizona. It's Alabama and Clemson. I'm Cine Sports Noah Kozlov in Dallas, where he witnessed Alabama's dominating win over Michigan State. It's Ralph Russo, college football writer for the Associated Press. Let's start with the Orange Bowl and Clemson's win over Oklahoma. What did you see out of Clemson that makes you think that they can now win it all? Um, the defense was really even more impressive than Deshaun Watson. Uh, that defensive line, and they played most of that game without their best defensive lineman in Shaq Lawson, the, the All-American defensive end. Uh, but they put a lot of pressure on Baker Mayfield. They really held up well against a very good Oklahoma running game. Um, they, played a, they played a tough and active game. Their linebackers were really good. And, of course, Deshaun Watson is simply brilliant. Uh, I don't think maybe people underestimate how good this guy is. He is probably the best quarterback in the country, and he has the potential to be one of these really transcendent stars. He's going to be back for at least one more year. And between the defensive line and Deshaun Watson, it's a good combination. All right, let's move on to Alabama. And the last line of your story, you wrote, it was Alabama at its very best, and it looked downright terrifying to be on the other end. So is there just too many things to mention here? What makes you think that Alabama could win it all? Yeah, well, I think that it's best summed up in the fact that the best player on Alabama's offense was a role player last mm -hmm. night. Derrick Henry carried the ball 20 times for 75 yards and was just a bit piece. Alabama took what was perceived as its weakness, its quarterback and its ability to, to sort of take over the game by taking deep shots downfield with Jake Coker and turned it into its strength. Mm -hmm. So if its weakness is actually a strength, <laughs> where do you go to beat this team? You know, ultimately Clemson will give them a better chance, but the defense is so good. The front is, you can't run on them at all. And Coker was brilliant. Uh, and so is Calvin Ridley, by the way. The freshman wide receiver has sort of stepped into the Amari Cooper role. He looks a lot like Amari Cooper. Mm -hmm. All right, and finally, the storyline that you anticipate to be the biggest this week? Well, it's already probably going to be a little worn out because we've, we've all sort of written at least once or twice about how Dabo Sweeney is an Alabama guy. He grew yeah. up in Birmingham. He was a walk-on receiver at Alabama, uh, started his coaching career at Alabama. Many people anticipate at some point when Nick Saban steps away that Dabo Sweeney will be the guy who steps back. So that's going to be the story that gets really a lot of traction this week. You know, X's and O's wise, it'll be interesting to see the way Alabama – goes about stopping Deshaun Watson. You know, mm -hmm. Watson is that type of quarterback that I think that gives Alabama some troubles, a guy who's a little more mobile and can do a lot of different things, very dynamic. But let's put it this way. If you have to be as good as Deshaun Watson to give Alabama problems, <laughs> you have to be really, really good to give Alabama problems. It'll be a fascinating matchup, but the Sweeney-Alabama connection is something that you're going to hear a lot about over yeah. the next week. So. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Ralph Russo of the Associated Press is in Dallas where he saw Alabama win, and now he'll be headed to Glendale for the national championship. Good talking to you, Ralph. Happy New Year and safe travels. Happy New Year.